good morning students today we are going to discuss about the part 5 of the chapter reproductive health from your class 12 biology syllabus already we have made four recorded videos on this chapter and from this chapter from these videos we got to know about few things that what is the meaning of the reproductive health what is the meaning of the disease what is the meaning of contraceptives which planning and programs actually government has taken to make a better family amniocentesis and the mtp so today's topic is infertility today's topic is infertility so this is the last topic in this chapter this is the last topic in this chapter and after completing this chapter will complete after completing this topic will complete this chapter so before starting this infertility you should know the definition of the infertility what is the definition of infertility so what is the meaning of infertility or how you are going to define the infertility that this is the inability to conceive this is the inability to conceive or produce or produce children after the unprotected coitus so this is the basic important term that the unprotected coitus okay so what is the meaning of unprotected coitus that there is no there is no use of barrier methods there is no use of barrier methods so this is the basic things of the unprotected sexual intercourse or unprotected coitus so now what is the meaning of infertility that this is the inability to conceive or produce children after the unprotected coitus clear so next one is that that not only in the india but in nearly all the countries of the world there are a large number of couples who is suffering this infertility problem okay this is this is right now this is actually worldwide problem so there are about 7 crores of infertile people in the world so now we should know what is actually the causes of infertility what is the causes of infertility what is the causes of infertility the first one is that the congenital disease congenital disease the second one is that immunological or physiological disorders next one is that excess use of alcohol smoke and drugs okay and last one is that unhealthy lifestyle so these are the four causes of the infertility four probable causes of the infertility clear so i am repeating again so first one is the congenital disease second one is the immunological or physiological disorders third one is the excess use of alcohol excess use of smoking and excess use of the drugs and last one in is the unhealthy lifestyle okay so these four are the possible causes of infertility so fd coin has two sides as because this infertility is the major problem right now nowadays in our world so that's why it there are some treatment also must be there so what are the treatments what are the treatments the first one is that this is called the assisted reproductive technologies the short form is ARTS assisted reproductive technologies okay so next one is that during the last one decade the great effort has been directed to diagnose and cure this kind of the 
process this cure this kind of the infertility problem and then what happened then there are certain amount of the artificial technologies actually we can arrange and that process is collectively called the assisted reproductive technologies this process is called the assisted reproductive technology clear so these artics or these assisted reproductive technologies there are several examples are there the first one is the test tube baby the first one is the test tube baby okay the second this test tube baby is quite familiar term for all of us that test tube baby second one is the gift third one is the zip third one is the zip next one is the icsi and the last one is the ai so there are few procedures are there there are few following techniques are there by which actually we can treat the infertile couple the first one is the test tube baby first one is the test tube baby second one is the gift third one is the zip fourth one is the icsi and the last one is the ai clear so there are few certain technologies are there by which we can treat the infertile couple so next one is the next topic is the what is the meaning of the test tube baby what is the meaning of the test tube baby what is the meaning of the test tube baby so normally people think the test tube baby means the baby is actually formed uh, inside of the test tube but it's not true okay always remember this all those process actually the in vitro all those process is called the in vitro fertilization what is the meaning of the in vitro fertilization the short form is ivf the short form is iva what is the meaning of the in vitro fertilization in vitro fertilization means the this kind of fertilization process takes place outside of the mother's body outside of the person's body clear yeah, outside of the mother's womb so there are normally two types of fertilization one is the in vitro and second one is the in vivo one is the in vitro and second one is the in vivo so in vitro means the this is the outside and in vivo means that this is the inside the normal the normal type of the pregnancy the normal type of the contraception the normal type of the implantation this procedure is called the in vivo fertilization but in vitro fertilization this is the artificial fertilization this is the artificial this is the artificial and in vivo is natural in vivo is natural okay so this in vivo in vitro fertilization is called the artificial fertilization so next one is the what is the meaning of the test tube baby so let's start about test tube baby what is the meaning of the test tube baby so normally in the test tube baby this is this is the process where the unfertilized ovum first one is the unfertilized ovum removed then sperm and ovum fused and then zygote implant to mother's womb so these are the three steps by which one test tube baby is formed next question is there that these two first two steps this unfertilized ovum is removed from the mother's body by the laparoscope by the artificial technique after that this ovum is kept under the chemical condition and then fusion of the sperm and ovum is fused these two process takes place the outside of mother's body outside of the mother's body clear and then what happen then zygote implant to the mother's womb so this is the process is called the test tube baby this is the process is called the test tube baby next one is that next procedure is that zip this is important for your examination do you know why because in normally there will be the one mark question that what is the full form of zip what is the 
full form of zipped. The full form of zipped is zygote intra fallopian transfer. Zygote intra fallopian transfer. This is the process is called the zipped. This is the process is called the zipped. Clear? Zygote intra fallopian transfer. So, what is the meaning of the zit and what happened in the zit? That it involves, it involves transfer of zygote or embryo in the fallopian tube. In the fallopian tube. So, this is the process is called the zipped. I am repeating again. What is the meaning of the zipped? That the zygote intra fallopian transfer. So, what is the meaning of it? That it involves the transfer of zygote. That when zygote and embryo is actually formed the outside of the environment. From the outside of the environment. Outside of the mother's body. And after the zygote formation, it transfer, it implant to the fallopian tube. It implant to the fallopian tube. So, this is the process is called the zygote intra fallopian transfer. Zygote intra fallopian transfer. Next one is the IUT. Next one is the IUT. Clear? So, the full form of IUT is intra uterine transfer. Please remember all those terms. All those terms are important for your one mark question. That what is the meaning of the intrauterine transfer? What is the meaning of the intrauterine transfer? What happened? That in this stage, transfer embryo into uterus. The basic thing that zipped and IUT most of the cases are same. But the basic difference, what, the, what is the basic difference? That in the zipped process, the transfer of the embryo is to from to the fallopian tube but in the iut is what happened transfer of the embryo to the uterus transfer of the embryo to the uterus clear next one is the gift next one is the gift what happened in the gift the full form is the gamete intra fallopian transfer gamete intra fallopian transfer okay so these are the process which is called as the gift so zip and git these two are the main important term for your one mark question that what is the meaning of the gift what is the meaning of the zip gift means the gamete intra fallopian transfer what happened that in this technique the gamete is actually collected and then it will transfer to the female's body. It will transfer to the female's body. So, transfer of the washed sperms and harvested ovum of a donor female to the ampulla that this is actually not the natural process that during the time of the natural coitus what happened when sperm and ovum fused together it's never be happened in the gift process. In the gift process what happened the sperm is injected sperm is injected to the ampulla of female's body. Sperm is injected to the ampulla of the female's body. Clear? So, this is the procedure is called the gift. Last one is the ICSI. ICSI. What is the full form it? Intra cytoplasmic sperm injection intra cytoplasmic sperm injection okay so what happened in the icsi what happened in the icsi that in this process what happened in this process the sperm is directly injected into the ovum sperm is directly injected into the ovum but these all those are actually the artificial process. And the last one is the AI. 
लास्ट वन इज द ए आई ए आई मीन्स द आर्टिफिशियल इनसेमिनेशन प्रोसेस आर्टिफिशियल इनसेमिनेशन प्रोसेस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट दैट इन दिस प्रोसेस वट हैपन द मेन पार्टनर फेल्स टू इंसेमिनेट और साफर्स फ्रॉम सम काइंड ऑफ द ऑलिगोस्पार्निया और डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम मेल प्रॉब्लम देन वॉट हैपन द सीमेन ऑफ द मेल पार्टनर इज कलेक्टेड द सीमेन ऑफ द मेल पार्टनर इज कलेक्टेड सीमेन इज कलेक्टेड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू वेजाइना so these are the basic things of the artificial insemination when insemination problem is there in the male's body so that time we can go for the ai we can go for this artificial insemination process we can go for this artificial insemination process clear so this is our videos so this is the completion of the chapter also with this video we are actually going to complete this chapter in our next chapter we will start a new video and i hope this video will help you a lot for better understanding so if you go for the live class simultaneously if you see this recorded video then i think no problem will be there so please go through it properly and if any queries ask me so thank you